call this meeting to order at about 5.01, I guess. Um, first order of business is to review and approve the minutes of October 8, 2019. I make a motion to approve the minutes of October 8, 2019. Second. Second, anyone? Yep. Second. Second. Yep. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Move. Uh, financial statements and the warrants. So, uh, Shelley? Yep. Uh, so the warrants are there for your signature. There are eight warrants presented, totaling uh, $113,719.96, of which there is a small warrant that was encumbered for fiscal year 19. Uh, I had previously <coughs> sent the expenditure reports for general fund and for school choice. Um, are there any questions about any of the expenses? Tina, we still need to connect on the school choice for the arts night out. I don't think we did that. I know we didn't do okay. it between the last meeting and this one. So okay. It's still on my radar. Any other questions that I can answer? So you saw everything was on track, right? Yeah, everything yeah. looks to be on track. So uh, last meeting I had said that I was still reviewing line by line the mm -hmm. budget worksheet that was created by TMS. Yeah. So I've done that, cleaned up any accounts that needed to be moved around. Um, and Deerfield looks like it's in good shape to That's be on great. track so far. So good. obviously I'll keep you updated. Awesome, thank you. <clears throat> um, and then the budget timeline is a little bit farther down, but I thought we would talk about that now while we were here. Yes. Um, so that was in the packet that Donna prepared for you for the school committee. And I'll be meeting with district administrators, department heads, and then principals in the first two weeks of December. Okay. Um, working to build the budget by the end of December with a goal of more detailed discussions to start here in January and then every month there to follow until the towns move to vote on it. That's great. Any timeline questions? No. Oh. Uh, I guess the only thing I had a question and maybe we'll talk about it later was the um, capital request going to the town by December 1st. Okay. It's the agenda. Oh it is. It's okay great. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. All good. <clears throat> okay, well, if we want to take care of that now, then if uh, I think we're looking for a vote uh, to approve that budget timeline. We oh, tend okay. to do that. Sure. Otherwise, I'd make a motion to approve that calendar for the, for the budget. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so moved. <clears throat> um, okay, any other questions for Shelley at this moment? No. The agenda? No? Okay. Uh, public comment? Hearing <laughs> that worked. Hearing none. We'll move on to uh, unfinished business of the update on the um, capital expenditure relating to the generator. So is that Bill yep, yeah, or yeah, Lieutenant? Yep, yeah, Bill here to All right, Bill, recognize Bill. talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so I had uh, a couple different companies come in and, and, and look at what we have. And, where we're set up now, we do have a um, um, a manual switch over out there. Um, it was in tough shape. Uh, I got it cleaned up. Um, I, if we do move forward with the generator, or when we move forward with the generator, I would like to see it switch to an automatic switch. Um, otherwise, the generator doesn't come on unless someone comes here and turns it on. Oh, that's the way it's yeah. set up now, manual. Oh, it is okay. But. Um, I, I don't have answers from one guy yet, but the other contractor, um, we got a price of about sixty-eight thousand. For, for the that would be that would be with the automatic switch and the generator. And That's including the generator. Yep. And, um, yep. Was that Chase? Was that Chase? I think I saw Bill. For, he he went and cleaned up a lot of that stuff. Yeah, but that no, that, that is Powers been, Generator. Powers. And oh. I'm waiting. I'm waiting back on Marnie. Okay. And um, I, I just think it's not a project Chase is too interested in. Yeah. He's doing a lot of our electrical work, but I'm not right. sure he wants to do a big generator job. Okay. Great. Um, but I will get back to you with the Marnie quote. Nice. <clears throat> but that's a good that's a good idea. The sixty eight thousand. Okay. And that that's gonna run that's gonna run your essentials, your right. H, your HVAC, your your kitchen, um, okay. coolers and walk-in cooler and stuff. Several like that. lights and yeah. stuff. But yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but that's not enough to run the full building school operations. No. Right. And I was assuming we weren't going that road. Right. If we're out of power, we're probably. 
closed. For that, that's yeah. standard. So yep. we just, we're just kind of mentioning it because it's the like, in front here set up the same way. It it's is essential. Okay. First floor. Yep. Third floor, it's emergency lighting only. I think second floor, there's certain areas that might be lit up. Yep. A certain part of the building is not functional. Um, when we had the big windstorm, Waitley is a small enough building. They yep. ran the whole school on one thing, but I you're see. talking about a dozen classrooms and that's it. Right. So right. it's a little, it's a lot different. The load is a lot different. Yeah. So I just, that's why I was just asking. So no, you're absolutely right. And they have a uh, 200 kW generator, which is larger than any of the other schools in the district. I see. So I think this that discussion rolls into the discussion about the capital. Right. Um, capital requests that we're making. Um, do you want to just roll into that? Sure. It kind of, if, it's, yep, sure. if it's neatly in there. Yep. So the question is, do we want to um, put the generator on that list? Do we want it to go to the town as a should, so here's how I kind of look at the silos. It's not, it's a town building. The generator is really not to run school for a long period of time. Correct, just to keep the heat it's, on. It's, it's really to maintain the building. And so right. is this fall into like, this is what the school needs are? When we talk about, you know, fixing up classrooms and fixing up bathrooms mm -hmm. and, and other things that help us run the school day versus a generator, which you could put the two in, but you understand what I'm saying? I when, do. when you're asking, you only allowed so much money. Right. I'm going to put school programming first, yes, the generator or second. The town will say the building, the upkeep of the building comes before the, you, yeah. know, you know what I mean? So that's why I don't know what silo we put it in or we bring it to the capital committee and yeah. let them kind of mold it over as the, well. Yeah, have them put it on the plan, right? Well, can, it, oh, is it, can it be a hybrid? I thought there was some amount of money. There is. Like some. 30 plus something that's already. So some. there's 27,000. 27. 000. So we probably paid a little. Did we pay a little bit to have that, or did that was that free? Just, just no, not powers. We didn't pay, but Chase, we paid a little bill to have that to that one up. cleaned up. Right. Yeah. So let's couple we'll round up. Yeah. Maybe we'll take a thousand or whatever right. off that. So you're talking about let's just go down to twenty five thousand. So it's twenty five thousand off of that. Yep. You're not talking about a lot of money to get this building emergency That's ready. Definitely helpful to have that sitting there, especially when it comes to the capital improvement. Yeah. So we'll be grateful for that. Sure. Um, it is something that just you know, I'll say out loud to you. Just we're talking about it's a bit. It's over fifty thousand dollars, so it's going to be a right. big job. But to get the yep. quotes about the general cost we're looking at, sure. we have to go through the bidding yep. process of, of a I job think that large. Pachuric Electric just did the town hall, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know if it's is it in yet. I don't know if they. I it's they there. I don't know if it's operational. Okay. Yet, but yeah. I know it's there. I That's saw right. it right there. Yep. So they might want to bid it too. Yeah. So, so sure. what's we'll go in. You ready to keep going on? Sure. Um, capital. Yep. So we'll kind of give you the, the overview of the different projects that we have you know, ideas of. Okay. And then ones that, it's kind of, we have the ones that we kind of like, I call it like your A list and then your B list. Your A list being like stuff we want to make sure that we're moving forward on and we kind of push to make sure we get B list. Looking at the capital, it's going to kind of be part of the review of the capital committee to either get done this year or future years. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. So. Sure. Go ahead. Go. So what we would like to request this year is um, another set of restrooms. As you know, we're doing a set. Um, the main the main ones are scheduled for uh, in a month for the Christmas break. Great. Yep. How much did we have last year? Did we set aside for that? Do you remember? It was fifteen. 15. Maybe I think I think I, I, I I'm change. asking fifteen three now. You're asking fifteen three. Okay, great. Yep. Okay. And then we want to continue um, our up upgrading of the flooring in, in classrooms. We've uh, identified three classrooms for this coming year, and yep. uh, that was 18. Yeah. And then the big one is the courtyard upgrades, which was 46.3. And I think we're looking, I don't know, Darius, if you want to talk more about the... Um, the courtyard, the grand, grand courtyard, or the yeah, courtyard? Is the main the courtyard. Room? Yeah. Okay. The front entrance. Yeah. We did talk yeah. about that um, but there was some... at our town, at our uh, select board meeting the other night. We were kind of laying out phase four of the MVP grant, was um, municipal vulnerability preparedness grant that the governor put some money into. And um, that might be a candidate if we could put um, either pervious asphalt or some sort of paver or something like that. Um, I don't forget that was that forty six something that we just got or we had already in the we had some number before. That's the that forty six number is a Alesco number of carry over. The Alesco right? number, okay. Right. Yep. Correct. Yep. So then maybe we should yeah, we should find out. Um, I know that uh, we are signing that request for the grant and I think that's included in the phase four at least the planning of it. The is planning right? of it. Yeah. So what does everybody know what Trevor's talking about? So basically 
What's that? <laughs> no. Okay. Right. So the uh, MVP is a, so the, there's money put aside to look at um, environmental impacts that have to do with global warming changing in environment. So rainfall and what we do with rainfall um, is on that list. And so we're looking at both Frontiers parking lot, which we have funding for, and looking to get a grant to maybe either cut off some of the um, costs or redo the way we do our water runoff. Because right now, everything goes in a drain and goes in a bloody brook. Yeah. And that's where you get your big, and so you can slow down that water going through, <coughs> through um, basically asphalt that mm -hmm. the water seeps through slowly. It's not just all runoff, some of it goes through, so it goes into your, your groundwater system. And also yep. holding areas so that are more environmentally friendly. So you kind of go into a rain garden, so to speak, where you have different yep. species that slow down the running of water. And so where they've done it, and Bill and I took a drive out there on a rainy day, is the park, 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 and, ride. Ride. Yep. park and ride. If you go there on a rainy day, the middle section is where the traffic is, is regular asphalt. And then the side parking lots, it's actually, you can see there's no puddling, the water's actually seeping through. And they've also done it on 91 north of Northfield, uh, north of uh, Deerfield to Vermont. If you drive up there, you notice there's less water spraying on your car because the water's being carried through. Mm -hmm. There's some downsides to it because you can't use regular salt, I mean cement, uh, cement, sand, no, don't use cement either. Um, <laughs> there's, you don't use sand because it fills the, obviously will fill the, yeah. those kind of things. But that's the idea. So there, there's grants for that. And so we could reduce the cost of the project and also make it environmentally friendly. Mm -hmm. We're also looking at an educational component at Frontier to make it part of the environmental um, studies groups to go and understand how rainwater and that kind of thing. And so again, we're applying for the grant. The idea is if we could, if we could tie this outdoor project into that, um, that could be cool. Right. It could save us money. I don't know how much money it's going to save because it kind of is matching with the project you're doing. So right. it's not like you get the grant and also you're spending no money on it, but you could do it in a way that's more environmentally friendly. Um, I mean, if you've ever been here in a major rainstorm, the amount of water that comes off this roof, yeah, I don't awesome. know where that's going, yeah, you know? And so, you know, you can build building better. That Y out there, since we replaced at one point, mm -hmm. the downspouts on the front were just pooling a ton of water there. So we got them in the drain a little better, but. Right. No, so if we make that part of it, and then I, and I was talking with, and then we also have to make it functional because you have classes lining up out there. Mm -hmm. You got different types of, you know, different students and different mobility issues coming in. Mm -hmm. You got to have access to get a, a car up, but you don't want to have constant access to a car being able to drive up. Right. You know, so there's a lot of different moving parts and it'd be fun to do something thematic where the students are lining up instead yeah. of just a spot on the ground and do something fun with, yeah. with the design. Budgets, you know, and then obviously, the bigger part of it was also was taking down the old vegetation around the building and yeah. planting new um, things that are that are safer. You don't have hiding mm -hmm. spots and you don't have you know that old growth. Yeah. And on the southern end too, out here, there's um, a great opportunity for the water garden down in the ditch. Okay. For the you know the one way access drop oh, off yeah, and pick up. Yeah, yeah sure. that's a great. Okay. They were excited about that spot too. Great. Okay. So, so we're looking at that at the same time. So we we have to update. Request. I don't know if it's, I don't want to keep putting things off, but it might be, we can see what they get for feedback on that. Would they should know pretty quickly. I mean, we could put it in the plans for requests this year, and then if we should know pretty quick on that, um, they decide that, and then you got to spend the money pretty quick as well. So it may work out to our advantage if they, they include that part. So give it a shot. Is it, can I just ask, is this 46.3 courtyard upgrades, is there a plan in place for what that? I think originally includes? Bob just said, well, how much to repave this? So that's pretty much just asphalt. Mm -hmm. So probably the bid would be higher than that if we were gonna do this other stuff and you know, some rain garden stuff and get me, you know, probably having a, I don't know if Conway School design or something. Yeah, would someone's design. gonna design it. Yeah, yeah you some sort of plans. thing like that. Yep. So I didn't include the mm. things that Bill mentioned earlier? No. The rain garden changed. No, right, but that would be asphalt. where you're applying for the grant money for yep. is to upgrade those to water <coughs> gardens and instead of just yep. runoff, you yep. upgrade it to. And that's where the grant comes in. That's what I'm saying. It's not the grant isn't going to replace the pay. It's not going to be like, oh, we we were going to pay fifty thousand dollars to pave. Right. Now we're going to get the previous payment for fifty thousand dollars. No, it's going to. Yeah, they're still going to be paying. It costs more to do right. it. Right. right. And so that's where we have to be careful, and that's where I've been very clear. With, we're not spending more to do this project. Correct. To make it no, environmentally no. friendly. With what we're going to spend with <clears throat> grant money, it comes out 
equal to or less than would be more would be yes. better. Um, yep. Then it would be a good idea to do it. Yeah. Mindful. Like that. Mm -hmm. That's at least my goal going into it. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. And so, what was the timing on the grant then? Uh, we we, we do have it we already oh yeah I think we're submitting it this week uh, or next week. I have a meet with Chris tomorrow about it and I okay. did a letter of support on it Thank for you. the frontier portion. Yep. Um, and looking into just the, the regular plans. Um, so yeah, he said he. I had a meet with him Wednesday. I mean Thursday. He has to move it back to Wednesday because he needed it for the timeline. So it's very close. Yep. To so, yep. Okay. So, we'll just see what so we might be able to update that number. Yeah. Um, there are a couple other things we want to talk about that's sure. also on the radar. Okay. That we just want to kind of get like a B um, list. It's kind of the B list. Um, Is that the A list? We just had those three then. Well, my A minus would be the ball field fencing out here. Yeah. And I know we had a conversation. Yeah, we did. Did you did you want me to try to did you want us to try to do that with capital or did you want to go want us to go for CPA? Um, but we can redo all that that out there for like 5,000. Yeah, we so would think. Let's get people up to speed. What time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yes, 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 yes. parameter. I'm yes. saying not. So, the, you know, the fence of the softball field that's on it's the ground is, is in very bad shape. I mean, it's totally easy to read. Safety issue. It's a safety, it is a safety issue, and besides an eyesore and amongst everything. So, um, the general number on that is about five grand to get everything up to speed there. So, the question is, is that something that we would go to get CPA money? It's a small, I mean, Beautiful has a good amount of money in CPA, mm -hmm. but if it's something where they want a small project, I don't know what the politics so, of the CPA is. If they would like, hey, we'd like a few small projects instead of all these big asks to maintain yeah. our current rec, because the rec does use that. The town rec uses yes. that probably as much, if not more, than mm -hmm. the JV softball team. Right. And we were, um, I was thinking that I didn't want to wait. So I think it's a great use of the funds, and I think we should. But I'm I'm worried about waiting, uh, you know, until next June before you can do it, or next July 1st. I think is when you could spend that CPA money, right. unless we could, you know, if there was a pot of money you could use it and reimburse. Right. Or so if like I go that. to my silos again, five thousand dollars. Deerfield doesn't use that field for five thousand. Deerfield Elementary students right. don't use Correct. five thousand dollars worth of that field. Right. That's the community after school. I mean, I've never seen maybe a gym class occasionally. Out Correct. there, but they're not using no, it. No, it's and the it's town that, rec. It's frontier softball. So, I mean, between the two, I mean, rec is out there all spring long for as well. So well, that's what I wanted to find out: <clears throat> Does the rec revolving fund have, you know, some funds in there to do that, or is there another pot of money and then not wait for, you know, I didn't really think it should come out of our school budget for that. It's more of a, it's mm -hmm. a town field, it's a town. Use things. Well, we can talk to select board, just pay for it out of free cash and get it reimbursed. That's a possibility. <laughs> but I just need a vote for that, though. Okay. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> that would have to happen at a town meeting, but well, any of this would. But um, so it, it's on our radar, too. So I'll, we'll, we'll try to work through our mm -hmm. at the town and see what we can do. It's not a lot, but it's one no. of those things where it's important. Well, I was just thinking on CPA, it's also a small, <clears throat> you mean it's only small projects taking mm -hmm. care of things. Yep. Um, I think. Sometimes it's more appetizing to even the voters than it is all these big projects that we save up CPA for. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So when we got so you got there, a your bag of tricks. <laughs> we have some uh, playground upgrades that we're interested in doing, right, Tina? I would like to have a, a update the playgrounds and have them on a rotating schedule, especially starting with our preschool playground. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So and, and that might be. The, the um, wood chip area. What is it called now? Safety chips? No, it can't be wood chips anymore. We're grandfathered in, but I'd like to upgrade it to that foam. Um, Chrome rubber or something? Yeah, it's that I rubber. I know what you're talking about, but yeah, I'm, I can't I'm not going to come name. up with the name of it. All right, so I should stop looking at you to give you the information. Uh, sounds, yeah. sounds <laughs> like. So would, you would remove the wood chips that are there and put down some other sort of chip? Is that? Eventually. Okay. It's, yeah. it's one of those, let's be blunt, it's one of those things where we are grandfathered in, and depending on how much upgrades you do, then you have to upgrade the mm -hmm. structures beneath it. Mm -hmm. And so wood chips, you have to have a certain thickness of wood chips, so we got to right. add those every year because you have to have so many of softness of wood chips. Yep. But now they're getting out and they're putting in the synthetic stuff that you see at those, uh, the modern day playground. Yeah. Um, we have some around the structure right now. The new oh, structure. The poured stuff. Poured in place rubber. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's not trying, we're not, we don't want, we're not pushing to get rid of wood chips. We're trying to replace the structures. But once you replace the structures, I think you have to change the 
the base of them and that's where everything gets jacked up. Mm -hmm. Similar to, you know, if you upgrade a, a business, you upgrade a, a business that you also have to do follow all the code Correct. codes to such. It's the same kind of thing here. Yep. And so while those, you know, we need to upgrade the, uh, the play structures and that's, that's where that additional cost is. So the idea of doing it over, Just like we're doing the classrooms over several, several seasons, mm -hmm. the problem is we have to play, we don't have a plan in place right now to fund. And so I guess what we need to kind of talk about here is that do we want to get the thumbs up to go through, come up with some sort of plan, yes. bring it back to this for, I'm not thinking it's going to go this year unless, unless the courtyard thing falls apart, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, just looking at the pricing of things. Right. I mean, that's going to be very. <coughs> that's going to be very expensive. You're, you're talking about. Yeah. What, do, what was the main pull at Graham? We spent maybe 170 thousand on that. Actually, no. that. And that was all CPA money as well. Yeah. So I mean, and that doesn't obviously a year or two. We can look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know Kathy mentioned that last year too, and it was kind of tight. We didn't really do anything with it this year, so. Um, okay. Yeah, we're maintaining the best we can. Down yeah. Down. It's about time to have a. I'll read you. Right. Yeah. So the, in the, yeah. the last item, is it the last item? Is the, the if if we don't get to replacing the front in the next few years, meaning we can see the project coming forward, that's fine. Yeah. But um, there's real concerns about how big the gap the the, the gaps are getting, the yeah. lips of curbs. I mean, you got we got you know um, wheelchair access, some other issues that are yeah. going out there that are dangerous and. Um, Bill was talking about, you want to talk about filling. Whatever. Yeah, I met with a contractor last week um, that all the towns around here use for crack filling. Yeah. And they have a product called Mastic. Yeah. Um, and they could they could fill, clean out all those cracks and, and fill them. I mean, some of them are two or three inches wide. The big, the big. And then if you walk, if you actually walk out and you get to the granite curb where the buses park along the granite, yeah. there's a good lip there yeah, where you can there. trip on the granite. They were going to float the Mastic through there and stuff. Right. And, yeah, I said the best way to do it was to give me a day price, which was like eighty-seven hundred dollars. Okay. So if you're talking about nine grand there. It's nine grand that if you're going to update it within right. a year or so, then you're kind of right. you're throwing away money. But if we're not going to get to it, so I don't. You know, that's just okay. one, that was just one he you know, he went on and got the research there, and I'm like, we'll throw it on the list. If we can't get to it, then sure. we'll go for a lesser. Yeah. Um, <coughs> but yeah, so those are the. The capital projects. I know um, Ken's been our liaison to that committee. Yes. And yes. even last year, he's the one actually wrote up the, I wrote up yes. the capital plans for all the other towns, but he wrote them up for the approval. He's like, if I'm going to present it. Yes. Um, so okay. I'm wondering if I should reach out to him when he gets back in the town. He's gone most this month. Is he? Oh, okay. Um, I'd love to check that, but um, and see how he wants to. Yeah, know, otherwise, maybe it's the I mean, it, last year we missed the deadline, right? But Ken knew what we were going with, so it was right. Of, we missed it, but we had a, an inside someone who was communicating our needs, so that wasn't as yeah, it, was, it wasn't a punitive deadline, it was make sure you get a general idea of what's going because, especially with the courtyard update, it's I think we're going to find out in December how we want to move on that, right? So they we give a placeholder. That's right. Of and a certain then, amount. And then and we've we got a couple it. months to, then, to kind of, if they can stick a number in their plan, yeah. and then we could we could revise it as we <clears> go through. <throat> I think that would be fine, as long as they are aware of what's coming. Okay. And you're, taking on, on the, you're kind of taking on the, the softball fence? Yes. Yes, I will. Okay. Yep. Can I just clarify the softball fence? Is that just like the backstop and the two dugout things, or is mm -hmm. it the fence on the property line? No, no, just, 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 just what you said. To the softball field. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. Is that also fixing the benches? No, that wasn't part of that. that. I figured I, I don't think I don't think the fence company does that, but that needs to be done. Yes, right. Where the kids sit, like that, that middle you know, thing, that yeah. kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I'm not even sure. They're, I'm just thinking as I walk by, they always look like heck. Right. So okay. I don't know if I can somebody look into it. You're going to do that. You might yep. as well do. I mean, I, mean, I can go back to the well yeah. again on the same project. You know what I mean? Like, you, didn't, you fixed that, you didn't fix the thing next to it? Yeah. Okay. We'll look at both of those. Let's see what we can do. I'll get with you on that. Okay. okay. If you have to <clears throat> Okay. Um, right. Any other questions for Mr. Hildreth? No. Yeah. Projects or areas? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so let's see.
What's that? Oh, yes, I'm just making sure I'm going back up and I'm going back down. So, um, under our discussion item, school improvement plan. Can you show Can you the copy? Yes? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, this year it's a new format. It's kind of uh, mimicking the, the strategic plan from the district. Mm -hmm. So, that's what you'll see different. Um, with feedback from the community and staff, it's really following the same goals. We've made it a little bit more accountable or operationalized the definitions of what the task completion looks like. We kept all the same goal areas. Um, and again, we're, we're going to run it through as a two-year plan, and we'll make some tweaks next year. And, um, that forward. If you have any questions, you can talk to Mary. <laughs> Just get a Mary. <laughs> Mary's on the school council with Mary over here. And I could go through it. Come on. I don't know if you need to do that. Okay. I mean, unless anybody wants her to. But Just real quick. Did you say it for leadership team? Informed care. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the newest. So yeah. that also came out of some survey, and that's what our PD is focusing on too. So it just kind of ties yeah. in with everything that we're doing. It's it's a hot buzz because we're seeing more behaviors yeah. than we've ever seen. It's, I know um, the courts are also doing the same. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a drama informed. It's not just a rebranding of an old. Yeah. Issue. It may be a rebranding, but slightly. But it's there's more. There's a reason mm -hmm. it's yep. reaching the top of the list yep. right now. Affects yeah. a lot of <coughs> areas. It's a lot of work. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. We've got it. Okay. Good. And the first and second. Yeah. Everybody vote. I need a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve the 2019 to 2021 school improvement plan for Deerfield Elementary. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Mm -hmm. All set. Then. You know, if I started writing down my notes, and yep. we kind of skimmed over it. Are we moving forward with the generator as part of the schools? Request for capital funds, or are we kind of separating it out and kind of um, and just kind of can kind of bring it to them as this? Yeah, I was thinking, um, you know, since we have that 27, I think have Ken bring it to them with the total cost saying that we have this money set aside from the last few years to put towards this. We'd right. like to request the town since it's going to be a town, -owned either way, it's a town, it, comes to the town, it does, it's, but it's, it's kind of a but it's more instead of school programming, it's really a town function to make sure the building stays. Yeah. And if it needs to be a shelter or something like that, we'd have to eat. Well, it'd be more how we sell it in town meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yep. But isn't that, that isn't one? But that chunk is sort of school monies. That twenty-five. Um, that, I think it was, it was from town meeting. It right? was from town meeting to investigate the generator, mm -hmm. the uh, yeah, feasibility of the generator, and do initial hookups. So I think it was right. Kind of get the whole thing kind of situated, and it's. It's pretty much done. Right. So I guess maybe I don't I don't know where that number came. That's 2013. Right. So I mean I had to go back and read the warrants to figure out how the money was actually you know. Right. Um, but it's true. We're halfway there. Yeah. Or a third of the way there. With, yep. With money, it'll be, it'll be an easy sell. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. We'll do the charge. You drop course there. Okay. Moving on is a discussion item called paper versus digital. It sounds like it's easy, okay? It sounds like we'll just be digital and that's all that we need to do, but then everybody starts looking for paper. So 
at the joint meeting, we were like, yeah, we want to go digital, but, you know, I'll serve everybody. And then I brought it back, and I, as I said in note, I, I forget if I sent the chairs or sent to everybody, but um, Donna wanted to hit me with a two by four, maybe she did. And she was like, so what gets sent digitally? What gets good paper? What comes from the business office digitally? What gets paper? And I don't want us to move forward because digital is right, we're saving trees, and then not being responsible. Right. I'm reading everything and being able to take notes and doing all the other things. So I brought it back to have a discussion by a committee. And if you want certain things digitally versus other things, sometimes it's no matter what, I got to hand out a piece of paper because yeah. it has to be kind of discussed. And then does everybody have devices for it to be, to be digital? Because if you can't read as we're talking about, you write down notes. So I kind of I said the same thing this morning at Waitley. It's like there's no, I want to say there's no shame in having paper because the amount of money that you're budgeting and dealing with yeah, to be accurate and confirm, yeah. you know, we can spend, um, you know, 20 bucks on paper every year. But on the other side is that if you're always on the computer at home and that's how you want it, you know, um, but the idea is if some people want it, some people don't, then it becomes kind of hectic. Then we start making copies because we're not sure. And then, oh, yeah. That's a true Like you have copies uh, of the stuff today. So are you, talking, I, <clears throat> go ahead, sorry. are you talking about just the stuff that you're sending out to the committee? So I'll give you some, what Waitley did to, this morning. Waitley okay. said everything that you send us ahead of the meeting, yeah. don't make copies of it for us. Right. right. That's, okay. that's how I feel. Because I've yeah, put so my own. We, we can, we'll go through it there. And yep. then um, the pay, handouts that you have to do in the meeting, we'll just have to deal with it there. And the uses, I mean, the, I mean, obviously the budget stuff is, yeah. is a five or six page handout every single meeting, you know, kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a waste. Yeah, we have the principal's we report. Print it if we need it. Send out, we can figure out how, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I was like, I just finished it. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's like the day there of. There is some truth to that as well, is that, you know, you get... You get busy and you're like, oh, let me hammer it out like an hour before a meeting, and that's fine too. And, and so we can take pay for that. It's, it's, okay, so... Being, uh, it seems like if it comes before the day before, up to the day before, mm -hmm. yeah. then we should, okay. if we agree, we should all be responsible to just yeah, bring our stuff. account for it. But, yeah. if, but maybe you shouldn't send us stuff digitally the day of, because some of us aren't necessarily whatever right. we're right. I, I just want because I know having sat at these tables for for many years now many times when you're getting the like the budget handout right now you maybe you perused it over the weekend but sometimes you're reading it sitting through as you're sitting here you're kind of like oh yeah as you brought that up I thought I saw something here and I just want to make sure that people are truly comfortable about going digital and then all of a sudden because I'm kind of doing both things in my world. I had all this digital and I also have binders of stuff because I kind of mm -hmm. write notes on stuff and I have to feel it sometimes to, I think you know, that kind of stuff. That's generally so. what I do. I appreciate, you know, all the stuff ahead of time. It helps. I print it out. I'll put it in a binder so I keep it all. Um, but but then I'll come here and you've got another set printed for me, which is a, it's a waste. So, that's a waste. That's yeah, a waste. so I think if you email the stuff, I'm fine. I can print it if I need it or if at some point do I move to a... Because oh, the other concern with some people, doctor. some people don't have the printing capacity, so they're like, true. So if that's the case, I guess just notify us and we'll, yeah. we'll print it and bring it. I mean, right now, I, there's a couple of people who stop by the Frontier to pick up a printed packet because they don't print it at home. Okay. And they want to be papers. So that's yeah. where I'm saying it's like, there's, so it seems simple, but there's 25 of you. Right. You know what I mean? And so when we're going yep. different ways with different, what's printed, what's oh, not. Mm -hmm. so. Around, you know, me, you have to ask this. I know. <laughs> that's I know. That's. <laughs> but because you're going to get like five different emails. You're going to get one from me. You're going to get one from Shelly. So I'm wondering internally if we have a procedure for that where we submit everything some place the day before and then one email goes out. Well, so the Google Drive, yeah. right? Each committee <laughs> there's like, no. so that's going to have docs on it. Okay. So, yeah. I forgot. Thanks for that. Oh. Right, right. So we are, because you're all Google, you all should have your Google accounts set up by now. If you have it, you have to that's let me know. So I had a question with that. Um, I have it, but how do, so I, I would sign on to Google to, to look at it versus, you know, get, I have like five email addresses in my phone. No, so I get, yeah, can I get one? So I just gotta figure it. out how to get it on my phone. You yeah. can get it forwarded easily to you. And if you, oh, if you, yeah. you, you the directions the, on how to do that. The, the and if you have problems, is, you can come with our IT. We'll sit down with it. Okay, They'll even put it on your phone. I'll, I'll but just, to go I'll into the drive, you have to be in the Gmail account. I see. can't be in your forwarded to your personal. Gotcha. If I want to get into grab any files. Right. So yeah. we're also in the process now of creating drives for each school committee. Okay. So that you can go in and see all the agendas, all oh, nice. the documents that were 
loaded into the drive, not every yep. day. And so we haven't, we haven't mastered that thing yeah. yet. We just started realizing we can put all the agendas and all the minutes so you can go back. And then eventually we, the idea is we'll link that to a public link too so that any public can go back and see all the minutes mm -hmm. as they're being approved. That's great. So, but that's when we get there, you know, right now, um, a lot of our websites are linked to Google Drive. If you look at like a policy mm -hmm. handout, yep. policy on a different, uh, different software, but you know, different handouts go right to a drive. So, we eventually want to build it that way. That's great. That kind of transparency, yeah. but um, takes time to get there. The problem you we have if we have to do a collection before it goes out, the, 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 there's a different timing. So, the agenda, whatnot, gets sent out to the chair. Once it gets the chair approval, it then gets sent out to everybody. The warrants in the not okay. the warrants, but the, the 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 business stuff tries to come out the Friday before. So there's different timelines of when stuff goes out to hold you to a timeline to your principal's report within that. Okay. I think you I'm either send it along or you choose to deliver okay. it at the meeting. I know it's a long conversation on this, but there is a lot of paperwork. Mm. There is. Okay. So nobody objects to getting everything digitally. No, that's fine. That's great. Don't do it for Okay. Uh, moving on yeah. to yeah. reports. Anything to report? Let's give you a report. My report. Mm -hmm. report. I don't have a report except you're all wonderful and you're, you're, you're here <laughs> helping. Me. Thank you. Um, and Glad go was off. frontier field hockey. Yes. And yeah. volleyball. Yeah. yeah. It's wonderful. And the, and the little guys both won their I Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Football, football as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're getting tired of winning. Right. <laughs> Whatever. Um, they're wrong. I don't have a report. Nope. There's a meeting tomorrow. Uh, but a question: the way I did it last week, printing out the, uh, the whatever mm -hmm. this report, um, and then going through it, is that a fine way to handle it? Is it just do you just want the printed form and or a verbal wait. report or I used to email or email. It. Yes. I used to take that Perfect. thing that Bill sent. Mm -hmm. and send it to everyone. On. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then do you that want to go done, a summary? No. Okay, oh, great. <laughs> no, don't worry. No. Sounds great. No, <laughs> so next month there will be an agenda item we'll be voting on. The collaborative is looking to have two schools enter mm -hmm. and they need a vote from its membership. So it'll be on the December. They have to have it before. I'm just letting you know because you're going to talk we'll probably bring it up mm -hmm. whatever they have. We done it yet, but we'll put it on the December <clears throat> agenda for um, Gateway and Worthington want to join. Want to join the collaborative? Oh, okay. Why they Good. weren't prior Right. Who knows? Yeah. So, um, okay. So we'll vote that. Just That's good. Just administrative for next meeting. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> right. And Tina? Yeah, I don't support? even know how we're in the middle of November. It's been a <laughs> crazy fast year. Um, we had a reunification drill with uh, success during our early release with families that participated. So that was relatively smooth and Great. nothing to report about that. Um, our teachers and families just came up of a day and a half of family teacher conferences, which were very successful, uh, as successful as a conference can be. Um, we're going through a lot of fall festivities. Um, even though there was a cancellation to trick or treating, we pushed on at school, and okay. um, <laughs> you can Good. read about it in some of the reports. There was like Batty Buddies and D5, nice. um, and then fifth grade. I don't know if you remember Trevor, but they have um, the students rotate through some five fall yes. games. So we had that going on, nice. and then um, our data meetings were getting ours rolling again for grades four through six and involving some teacher voice in that and what that looks like and what they would like to look at for data. And we do RTI meetings um, K through three every six weeks anyway. So those are our updates there. Uh, professional development, we just had a half day of IAPD um, that was school-based this time around and there was a lot of choice given. Um, we did them differently across the, the unions, but here we had a book group they could choose from or three mini workshops. Um, and that, with feedback from IA, seems to have gone pretty smoothly. Good. And then they just came off of a full day IA um, PD that was impressive, I would say. Um, there was, how many, do you know how many different selections there were? Sorry to put you on the spot, but there was a lot of choice given and yeah. there were half day um, seminars, okay. if you will. And um, feedback on that was amazing. There was a lot of trauma informed. Um, Good. Here and that they, I love that there was a movie involved and nice. a game, a green architecture game. That's great. Um, what 
it was a good train. There was a movie involved in a game. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's probably not a good segue. Yeah, a lot of learning. There was learning. There was a lot of learning. Resilience would be right. That probably wasn't a good really framing. Anxious to have some good PD, so I'm yeah. glad that they're yeah. getting that. So it's good. If you just put game after everything, it yeah, sounds like it's sounds fun, like but you're learning. Yeah. <sighs> So then we just did the school improvement plan game. Yep. So, um, <laughs> and then the update uh, as far as our safe school grants goes is that I just heard from Scott Paul that we're looking at um, 10 cameras to upgrade our system and we'll oh. see where, that, where okay. that lands, but that's kind of where we are. And then um, the page, you guys can read about fourth, fifth, sixth grade um, and specials and what's happening. And, oh, cool. What's the camera thing? So I'm sorry. For the Safe Schools grants that we got, yeah. we got $31,000 for that. But uh, because we were going to use some of that money for our key fobs and our door entry, but we'd already started that project, so we couldn't use that uh, grant for that. So we're updating our cameras, our camera system. Okay. All right. Any questions for Tina? No. It's exciting. Good right. stuff. Thank you, Tina. And Darius, do you have anything else? Um, I get two quick um, things. I didn't do a full handout just because I was thinking of paper, but um, <laughs> I can't forward it to you. <laughs> the uh, MASC, I went to the MASC conference, um, yeah. MASC conference last week with, um, with Bob Holla and Bob Decker. Um, they were my buddies for a while, and also <laughs> Lane Campbell and Olivia Leon from Deerfield. Okay. Um, and it was, a lot of, it was a lot of good sessions. Yeah. They're kind of spacing apart, so it makes it a long day, but yeah. I'd rather take all my one class after okay. another, you yeah. know? But I uh, um, picked up some interesting stuff there. Um, I also want to announce that um, Diana Capuano retired after 23 years in our district as a SPED secretary. Oh, wow. And she did it, her last day was on Halloween, and so we had a little party for her over at Central Office. Um, but we wish her well in her retirement. Yeah. So that is basically the two little things I had. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Great. All right. Anybody have any questions for Darius? No? Okay. So moving right along, I think we, um, if I'm not mistaken, we're kind of done with our main meeting and are going to head into executive session. That's correct. That's um, correct. Okay. Um, so, uh, Pursuant to, I make the motion or is it saying Yeah, yeah, you yeah. So um, we're going to need to vote uh, to move to the executive session pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, to discuss uh, strategy with respect to collective bargaining, and specifically with the teachers. Second that motion. Okay. And there'll be no business coming out. Uh, and there's no, no votes business, or business coming in. No business coming in. So anybody, there's no okay. record or so. All right. Uh, so, roll call vote. Yep. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Okay. Yes. And Carrie. Yes. yes. And Mary. Yes. Yes. And I vote yes. And mm -hmm. good. Inviting anybody else in? Uh, we are going to invite in uh, superintendent and business manager and principal if the principal wants to stay. Sure, tell you're ready to go. <laughs> 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 yeah.